Living in a part of the world that balances the area between capitalism and communism, we over here know both. We see the flaws and the benefits of both. But there is a strange thing going on. When people tend to feel the restrictions here, if they want more capitalistic opportunities and are ready to take the risks that come with that, they go to capitalistic states, which means pretty much America. Most of us are okay to staying in the middle and just have corrections, of course, every now and then if we are steering too much in one direction. But the hardcore Marxists are different. They don't go to communist stage. They never do. Never. I know a lot of them and none of them even considered moving to a communist state. And the third world, well, where do these people go to? Well, not so often to communist states, isn't it? I mean, isn't that kind of strange that communists don't go over to communist states, but capitalists go over to capitalist states? No, no, it's not. You see, a capitalistic attitude is rooted in rational thinking. You think about what you can sell and where the opportunities to sell it are best. It's realistic. It's opportunistic. Marxists, on the other hand, are not. Marxism is a promise of a better world. And there is no place for diversity in thinking. There can, in the end, only be that one system. There can't be nothing else. So there is no need to move. There is just a need to fight for the subjugation, I mean liberation, of the world with tanks of peace and gulags of happiness. Marxists don't want to live in Marxist states. They want to crush anything that is not Marxist. Because Marxist flaws are become bluntly obvious if you can compare it to a capitalistic system. So this system has to go. A capitalist born in a Marxist environment will always try to move away, seize the chance somewhere else and don't give a damn about those who stay behind if they want to stay behind. A Marxist born in a capitalistic system will almost never leave but bitch around that he wants to keep anything he has, get some more and all others should then have as much as he has. Which is virtually impossible, but the Marxist doesn't care about possibilities. The Marxist cares about destroying every alternative so that Marxism is the last thing on earth that is a bit more desirable than total chaos. Marxists don't want to live in a Marxist state and who can blame them? If they would want to, they would have more chances than capitalists have nowadays. Marxists don't want to live as Marxists as long as they are not able to force anyone else to live the same way. Marxists don't want to live in a Marxist state. They want to live in a Marxist world, a world where they have what they want and everybody else is oppressed. They are not driven by love for Marxism, but by hate of everything else. A good example for that was Bertolt Brecht, a West German communist writer who bitched around about capitalism and then went to East Germany just to start bitching around Again, the government over there was, by the way, a little bit less understanding. <laughs> One of his later writings ends with the world. Would it not be easier in the case of the government to dissolve the people and elect another? Which is quite telling, if you ask me. I mean, it does not sound like somebody who is really, really happy with the government and the system, isn't it? Marxists hardly ever move to Marxist states. We know that. Because in the very end they hate Marxism as much as they hate everything else in the world, but just a little less than everything else. Ask this question. Ask why people don't just go. Ask why capitalists are not allowed to leave communist states, although they would want to go and would in this way strengthen the Marxist ideology in this very nation and the cohesion of the Marxist people by just leaving. Ask why communists don't join communist states again to strengthen the cause and make everybody happy. 
ask them why they don't act. Thanks for listening and don't share it on social media. Go to the people this time. Ask them this question. Engage them, but please politely engage them by stating that all you want is to live the way you want to live and you want that others live by the way they want to live, even if it is completely different than to yours. So that everybody can be happy following his own way. Because this is what most of us want, isn't it? Take this video, show it to them, discuss it, stop it from time to time and discuss more. Be always polite and respectful. This video is just a tool. You are the one wielding it. You can use it to do something with it, to build a better future for all of us. But just clicking the like button, I'm sorry, it, it won't change anything. But you can make a difference. Just go out and do it.